In this video, we will learn about the concept uh, returns to factor, what we call law of variable proportion. And law of variable proportion says, as more and more of the variable factor is combined with a fixed factor, a stage must ultimately come when marginal product, okay, when marginal product of variable factor starts declining, okay. So, uh, what exactly does uh, this mean let us say we have units of land which is fixed okay so we have uh, units of land which is fixed we have units of labor or number of laborers which are our variable factors here okay it simply says when we combine the fixed factor okay so uh, fixed factor with variable factor okay a stage must ultimately come when the marginal product of the variable factor which is here labor starts declining okay so i have shown it here we have units of land which is being fixed let us say one plot of land we have we have units of labor here okay when we have uh, you know fixed a uh, land when we imply one labor let us say our total product is two units okay it can be you know uh, two units of output is being produced okay when we imply uh, you know two laborers our total product increases to five similarly when we increase uh, the units of laborers our total product okay initially increases at an increasing rate then it increases at a decreasing rate and ultimately it becomes negative okay here you can see when one unit of uh, you know labor was implied our total product was two that means our marginal product is also two simple uh, what is marginal product it is you know the addition to the total product when a variable factor when one unit of variable factor is employed okay simple thing similarly when we uh, employ two units of labor our total uh, product increases to five okay and our marginal product increases to three okay how does this come when we imply second labor our marginal product is simply what is the total product at second labor minus what is the uh, you know total product at first labor okay so five minus three gives us three okay Sim uh, similarly when we imply third labor our total product increases to nine and what is the marginal product of third labor simply what uh, the total uh, uh, you know product when we have three units of labor minus the total uh, product when we have two units of labor okay nine minus five gives us four and similarly when we imply fourth labor uh, sorry four labors our total product is 12 and marginal product is simply the difference between these two 12 minus 3 which uh, sorry 12 minus 9 which comes out to be 3 and similarly here you can see 14 minus 2 is uh, 2 this shows our uh, this shows us the marginal product of labor okay so how do you calculate marginal product it is simply total product at you know nth unit minus total product at n minus 1 unit obviously of the variable factor let us say uh, to start it here what is the marginal product at three uh, when three units of laborers are employed it is simply what uh, total product at three units of labor minus total product at uh, you know three minus one that means at uh, two units of labor so this gives us sinus here when we employ uh, uh, sorry total product when we employ three laborers you can see it's nine minus total product uh, when we employ two laborers it is five so nine minus five gives us you know four here this shows us how to calculate the marginal product i have explained it a lot of times okay so if i you know transpose this uh, graphically what exactly does it say us it simply says us when marginal product is increasing okay here you can see it is increasing from two units to three to four okay our total product is also increasing at an increasing rate okay so total product is increasing from 2 to 5 5 to 9 so it shows the increase but at increasing rate then what happens when marginal 
product decreases here we can see marginal product starts decreasing from 4 to 3 3 to uh, 2 to 1 okay corresponding to this our total product is increasing but at diminishing rate okay so we are getting from 9 to 12 12 to 14 okay 14 to 15 it is increasing but at a diminishing rate then what happens when marginal product is zero you can see here we have the zero marginal product at this when we have seventh unit of a labor seven units of labor what happens at this point our total product is maximum okay when marginal product is zero there is no addition to the total product okay so total product is same and then after when marginal product is negative okay so uh, marginal product uh, marginal product of eighth unit of labor is uh, which is 14 minus 15 which comes out to be minus one our total product is negative sorry our total product is declining okay so we have first uh, our total product is increasing at an increasing rate then our total product is increasing at a diminishing rate and then our total product is declining okay and i have explained it graphically uh, when we employ uh, ol units of labor okay up to ol units of labor our marginal uh, you know product is increasing i have shown it here you, on this axis we have units of labor and on this axis we have the marginal product and total product when we employ uh, you know ol units of labor our total product is increasing at an increasing rate here you can see the slope is increasing at an increasing rate then after uh, which shows at uh, this point okay uh, these three terms here then after what happens when marginal uh, product starts declining okay D uh, uh, we can say diminishes our total product is increasing but at a diminishing rate okay here the slope is uh, you know uh, steeper here the uh, slope is flatter uh, compared to this and after that when our marginal product is zero okay here you can see when our marginal product is zero mp is equal to zero our total product is total product is maximum you can see it here okay after that when we employ additional units of labor our marginal uh, product starts uh, you know declining and our total product uh, starts diminishing here okay so um, you can clearly see when we have seven units of labor we have total product 15 when we have eight units of labor uh, you know total product is 14 so from 15 to 14 our total product is declining so this first stage is called uh, what we call the increasing returns to scale uh, this uh, second uh, you know uh, stage is called decreasing returns to scale and this third stage is called you know uh, what we can say declining uh, returns to scale okay so this was you can see uh, in the first stage we have increasing returns sorry uh, it is not about the increasing returns to scale i am just saying uh, when uh, this uh, stage first corresponds to increasing returns uh, to the factor second stage shows us uh, diminishing returns to factor and uh, third stage shows us negative returns to factor okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you for more videos on mathematical economics please subscribe this channel like comment and share also thank you